Hello, I'm Cody Whipple with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and today I'm joined by a very special guest, Ben Page. Ben is the Lake Habitat Section Chief, and today he's going to introduce you to a little bit about what the Lake Habitat Section does, some of their goals, and why. All right, thanks, Cody. We're here on the shorelines at Raystown Lake, and what I'm going to do is walk through how our program works, the Cooperative Habitat Improvement Program. Uh, we work with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers here, but we work with many different groups. And so the way our partners work is we can apply to the Cooperative Habitat Improvement Program, and that gets the ball rolling on a lake habitat project. Uh, our habitat managers will work with our area biologists. Those are the folks that uh, do the fish population estimates and measure those fish, and they manage the stockings if needed. And we'll, we'll decide whether or not these reservoirs need habitat improvement or not. Not every reservoir does. And so once we have that uh, outlook on a reservoir and we decide that we're going to work on it, we'll put together a habitat improvement plan. And all of those plans are available on our website. Uh, if you're an angler and you want to target some of those sites that we've worked on. But that habitat improvement plan is put together between Fish and Boat Commission and the, the partner, the local partner that we're working with. And so we'll use our electronics on our, on our Fish and Boat Commission boats to decide where those habitat structures are going to go. We'll put those together with latitude and longitude, and with that, we will go get a permit. So all of the structures that we're talking about today require a GP1. So that's a permit that's approved through DEP, the Department of Environmental Protection, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, okay? So not only do we do deflectors like you see in the background here, these are stone deflectors that are shoreline stabilization structures. Uh, we also do rock rubble reefs and many of the other structures that we have here on the table. And so the idea here is not only to focus on one species in a reservoir, but many different species. It may be fish, it may even be turtles in some cases. It may be panfish or it may be bass or perch. Oh, all of this sounds really great, Ben. So say I found some plans for some of these habitat structures you just talked about, and I have a favorite sp fishing spot out at my public lake. Can I build some of these and go put them out there so I can fish over them in the future? Yeah, yes you can. Uh, typically what we'll ask you to do is utilize some of the plans that we have on our Fish and Boat Commission website. All of those plans have been reviewed by uh, DEP. One of the steps in getting your permit to be able to, to do that work is that plan will come across my desk and I can uh, you know, give that a, an approval letter to be sent to DEP or your local conservation district. And the main thing is I'll review that with you, make sure everything's safe, make sure there's no boating hazards, make sure it's appropriate for your reservoir. And from there, once you have your permit and your materials, you can move on with your project. Awesome, thank you, Ben. So always remember, good fishing needs good habitat. 